Family-owned Barron's Market operates nine stores in Southern California, with four of those in Riverside County. They, like all grocers, have been affected by COVID-19. Was Barron's at all prepared for the rush of buying that happened when everything came down? That's an easy question. And initially, no. <laughs> um, I, I do want to say that there's plenty of food. There's plenty of food. And when this this happened, that, Im that Im immediate stress on the distributor and on the grocery stores, we got that, we felt that. And that really was only because at the beginning, people were starting to hoarding items, started hoarding items and bought way more than they needed. At the very beginning, um, a challenge that the distributors had, which we had never dealt with before, was when they were loading the trucks because they had to fill these huge orders, the trucks were not able to pass the way station. So trucks were being turned around back to the distributor to unload some of that weight. Now that things have calmed down a little bit, um, the, the, su the supply chain is moving a lot smoother and easier. Probably starting a week and a half ago, we were about 95% stocked. I would say this week we're looking at about 98% stock. Do you know when other stores are going to start having more shelves? The last time I went into a store, I still saw some empty shelves in some areas. To be honest, I I we, I we went to a few other stores just because I had to pick up some things and I was really, really, really surprised and confused why these stores were not fully stocked. And I don't understand why that is. And these are national companies. National companies that are, are doing it right, I would say, is Costco. Costco has been doing a wonderful job. You could tell that they're really trying to get as much product as possible. Being a smaller company, we can react quicker and be very flexible. What I think has been helpful is we directly went to restaurant suppliers and said, okay, we know you're not supplying restaurants because of the stay at home order, but what can we buy from you? And to be able to pivot so quickly and get all that product that they're trying to unload directly to the customer, that has been awesome. Likewise, restaurants are putting the supplies they obtain to good use. Lazy Dog Restaurant is selling $40 home essentials kits. Panera Bread recently announced they're selling fresh groceries and Burger Lounge has their corner store market where customers can buy bleach along with produce and other grocery items. Southwest Traders is now retailing groceries to the public and the Batter Up Bakery is selling a variety of grocery products alongside their delicious desserts. We had tons of flours and sugar and powdered sugar and eggs and butter. So we thought, why not sell to the public? We just want to do something for the community and get some of the things that some folks can't get right now. People will probably be buying more than the usual amount of groceries, but thinking and shopping outside the box should help everyone find what they need.